All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you every single micro duplication glitch for the Bedrock Edition that is working right now. And in my previous video, I've got some mixed comments. Some people are saying that the glitch is working and some are saying the glitches are not working. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how we can duplicate. There's gonna be three glitches. And I'm gonna say one thing, you have to try all of these with the normal items. And if one works for you, you have to do that with your rare item. So that's what I suggest you to do. And uh, as always, there's going to be three glitches in this video. All of them are working right now after the latest update. And yeah, and by the way, guys, just one more thing is 98% um, of the people who watch my video are not subscribed and only 2% are subscribed. So if you're going to subscribe, it's going to mean a lot to me and you can always undo that later. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right. So there are a few things you need to keep in mind before I show you the glitch. And the first thing is make a copy of your world okay and uh, if you don't want to make a copy of your world you have to follow the second step and that is um try the glitches with uh, normal items uh, like um wood or sand or something like that that you don't mind losing and if the glitch works for you then you continue doing with your um, rare items and for the sake of diamonds guys please follow these steps because um losing items is not fun okay so make sure you copy uh, make a copy of your world and if not uh, try the glitches with normal items and if the glitch work then do it with your red items so anyway the first one is quite simple all you need you need to have all of the items that you're trying to duplicate and a barrel so i already have the barrel and make sure you already have a barrel into your world place just like i have right here i didn't place it it was already there so uh what you can do is place the barrel save the game and come back then the barrel is going to be there so that's it so once you have the barrel um place for haystack or hay bale whatever we call it and then put all the items you try to duplicate into the barrel and then you're gonna have to destroy the haystacks or the hay bale whatever you call it i call them haystack and then after you destroy all of these four you're gonna have to restart the application and you guys saw what i did okay when i started my world i already had the um barrel placed so that's what you need so if you don't have the barrel already you're gonna have to place a barrel and save the game and quit and then come back so that's uh you have to do if you don't have the barrel if you have the barrel already there do not worry about that just follow the simple steps that i'm doing right now so i'm just going to restart the application and after i restart the application as you can see i've got all of the items back in my hotbar and i have the items in my barrel as well so this real simple glitch and uh, you have to try all of these glitches and one of these is going to work for you 100% because these glitches require timing and different glitches have different timing. So battle room have different timing with the haystack and there's this next one with the water. This one have different timing as well. So this one is really simple. All you have to do is you're going to have to place the barrel and uh, um, you don't have to do anything. Just place the barrel and then um, destroy two blocks on the floor and then fill the water with that. Uh, I mean, you have to fill that block with the water. Okay. And once you have done that, uh, you're completely done. Now, all you have to do is you're going to have to uh, put the items that you're trying to duplicate inside the barrel and uh, drown the character. And when you have three bubbles left, you're going to have to restart the application. And this one is a simple one. You just want to have to um, put the items into the barrel, drown. And then uh, after you have um, five bubbles left, you're going to have to restart the application. That's it. And I have restarted the application and I kind of fast forward every single time because um, if I don't, the video is going to be really long and you don't want to do, um, I don't want to do that because obviously everyone's busy. So as you can see, I've restarted the application and now I have all the items back in my hotbar. And if I open the barrel, I have the items in my barrel as well. So this one was really quick and this one can be done again and again. So let's say if you have done the glitch, you can repeat it without doing anything. So all you have to do now is put the items back into the hot, um, from the hot bar into the barrel and drown and restart. So, so simple, really easy glitch. But again, this uh, does not work for everyone. And I would say 90% of the, but if not, you can always try the different glitches that I have in this video. So just like this next one, for this one, all you need is you need to have um, a nether portal and a chest, and then you're gonna have to put all the items inside the chest and then enter the nether portal. And when you're in the nether portal, you're gonna have to restart the application. So you guys can see all of these glitches require application restart. But the timing of that is completely different. So 
if you're destroying hay bale the timing is completely different if you're drowning the timing is different and with this one with the nether portal the timing is different as well so people cannot get the timing correctly because the playstation sometimes works slow sometimes fast so that's the case so that's why glitches work for some people and for some people the glitches does not work so you have to try different glitches with the normal items and if you get one glitch uh, working, you can try that with your precious item. So as you can see, I restart the application. And one thing you need to notice, uh, one thing you need to remember actually. So when you restart the application, instead of uh, spawning into nether, you're going to spawn into normal world. And as you can see, I've got all the items back into my chest and also in my hotbar. So that's how easy these glitches are. All you have to do is you need to get the time correctly. And the glitches are going to work perfectly fine. So these are the glitches that you need to try in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And let me know in the comment down below uh, if the glitches work for you because I'm 100% sure the glitches are going to work because now I'm doing these glitches in my actual world, in my world where I play survival. So they're working right now. So yeah, this is the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you find this video useful, just hit that like button. It actually helps me a lot. And it actually motivates me to make more and more videos. So yeah, this is it. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.